So I don't know if I just turned the video off or if I turned it off previously. But I'm gonna take a look at this top box where, while it's out over here. So I've got a bunch of empty frames on this side. I can just pop out. And these are again foundationless and this hive is thriving on foundationless hot uh, frames. So I'm really gonna stick with that on this particular colony. I'll let them build out their own wax. And this is what they do. Look at that. Foundationless and they're they're already making honey. Oh my goodness. That's already all capped. Well, because I'm gonna treat I've treated this with Formic Pro, I'm gonna go ahead and harvest this honey. It's capped. It's more than 75% capped, so I'm gonna take that honey. They've got, you saw there was plenty of honey in here already. So there's no point in me leaving this behind. They don't need it. This is completely capped. And I don't want to, um, even though Formic Pro is safe, I'm just going to go ahead and take it. This They don't need this. Okay, now here, I'm going to pull two frames at the same time. So this is the one drawback to allowing them to build their own honeycomb is they get creative sometimes. So while that's all fully capped, so I, I definitely have had a good nectar flow here. I'm actually going to break out that. I'll go ahead and harvest that honey, put this frame back in. But I'm going to strip the rest of this off because they were building it across. They were building it in a funky way, shall we say. All right. So. There really isn't anything in here, so I'm not going to put this super. Ah, part of me wants to put this super back on. And what can happen is if they do start building up stuff here I can drop it down to a lower level and allow them to use it but I just want to give them space I just want to give them space so they don't feel that uh, they're running out of space I, I don't want this to swarm before I get back so I need a few more foundationless frames to put in here for the ones I stole Yeah. So if they develop anything in this top section, what I'll do is end up dropping it down to the lower section. Oh, one foundation. Oh, well. That'll give them something to do. Okay. So I'll get my quarter inch gaps on both sides to make it easy to work with. And that's it. We're done with this hive. So we've treated it. We did not see a queen. We saw lots of drone brood, and we saw tons of worker brood. So we know we have a queen in here, or at least there was a queen in here when I started. Very pleased with Charlie. I believe Charlie was either a swarm. It was, it was a swarm, not a cutout. So they didn't see any rubber bands in there, and as I recall, I mean, I can go back and check the records, but I'm pretty sure. I got a couple spider things going on here in the top and some spider little baby spiders i don't know if the camera can pick that up tons of little baby spiders just came out of that egg sack and there's mama who sacrificed herself for her babies but i don't want spiders in my hive thank you very much okay so i'm gonna put the lid on i'm gonna slide it to the back like that because there's vents in the back and that's it we're done with this one i'm going to take a break because i want to um switch my readers i'm pretty sure my smoker is probably just about done probably needs to be revamped yeah it's 
yeah, it's more than two thirds of the way burned. So I'm gonna restart my smoker and uh, get a different pair of breeders that aren't gonna keep falling off in the middle of my uh, inspection. So that's gonna be it for now on this one. That's Charlie. And hopefully the whole thing was recorded. I don't know when I turned it off, but I have all the information I need. That's it for now. Rider out.